Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked Fly Fly Fishing. And today we're going to tie a fly called a woolly wife. Uh, it's a combination of a, a woolly bugger and a conventional streamer. It's meant to imitate the alewife, which is common prey fish in Lake Michigan. Uh, it uh, came out of Ann Arbor, Michigan, and I think it will work as a fly anywhere where uh, white is a popular uh, color for fishing. Uh, I think it would be really good for brown trout for that matter too. So let's get tying, and I should say before I get going, I should say it is a variant on a woolly bugger, but nevertheless it's, uh, it is different enough that we can think of it as a different kind of pattern, and it's a little bit more involved too. So let's look at the materials. Our hook is a, a size 4 streamer hook, uh, must add. Our thread is a red UTC 40. Our tail is white marabou. And we're going to be using silver flashaboo to go over the white marabou, so it's sort of a tail on a tail. The body is white chenille. The rib is silver mylar. And uh, we're going to be using a, a white hackle for palmering. And the wing is supposed to be white uh, crystal flash. The closest I've got is this pearlescent uh, crystal flash, so we'll use that instead. I don't think the fish will care. So let's get to tying. Now when we're going to tie on the tail, what I like to do uh, with this uh, type of pattern is to tie my tail on early and then work it back. And I can adjust the length of the tail by just by pulling it. That should be about double the hook shank, and that looks to be about right, right there. So I'll give that a couple of extra turns. Now I'll put in my uh, flashaboo. And you want the length of the tail. So I'll tie in that bit there. Fold it back. And you can see it's a little longer, so I'll just push it. You see how I'm pushing it? And then I'll, I'll just come in here and nip, nip it. And you end up with a bit more of a ragged edge. It doesn't look blocked off. Okay, now I can tie all this back. If you find that flashaboo is turning, and here's the opportunity to put it back on top where it belongs. Okay. Now we tie in our white hackle. Trim off the excess. Next is our mylar, and as usual, we tie it opposite to what we want, so we're using silver, so we tie in the gold. Okay, now for the white chenille. Wrap that all back, then wrap forward. off what's left of the marabou. So first we wind on the chenille. When you first start with this make sure you are not uh, moving things around too much. Pull it tight then back off the tension so it looks smooth and you get away from dealing with that bump. Okay, don't crowd the eye too much because we got to tie in our hackle and our wing in there. Let's clean that up. Now we put in our Silver Mylar rib, one turn at the back. And again, if that tail is starting to move, pull it back into position and then just wind forward. Keep everything underneath. Okay, 
and now for the palmering. With this, we want to go in between the mylar. So we're going to go down the middle and just getting it started in the middle can be a bit tricky. Here we go. Keep it running down the middle of the chenille bin between the wraps of mylar. Okay. Now stroke that down because what we're going to do is we're going to put a few wines on here at the front. Okay, finally we're going to tie in our crystal flash. Bring our thread to the back. Soft wrap. A couple of tighter wraps. Pull over. Wrap tightly. There we go. And now to whip finish. Now for a little head cement. There we go, the woolly wife. I think that'd be quite an effective pattern anywhere uh, where white is a, a common and popular um, uh, color for whether it's hard plastic, baits, soft plastic, or flies. You know, white is often a very common color that uh, is a very good fish catcher. And I think this particular pattern has got a lot of good things going for it. So uh, give it a try. It's a woolly wife. It's meant to in imitate the alewife, common in Lake Michigan, which is a common prey fish. So give it a try. Cheers.